Welcome back to Daybreak. It's about 7.22 now. Thanks for staying with us on the show. In just about three weeks' time, one of Cayman's premier sporting events will kick off, the Cayman Islands Triathlon. Here to give us more details on the event are Paul Schreiner, the race director, Trevor Murphy from the Cayman Islands Triathlon Association. He's the president. And as well, Sarah Superfly and the media liaison from the association. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. morning. Thanks for having us. Thank you for being here. Pretty exciting stuff. People, I'm sure, are in the midst of training now, getting ready for the event. Um, and this has become a pretty big event, sort of a main event, I would say, for the year, um, for people who have, you know, are now fans of the triathlon. Would you say so? Yeah, for the triathlon, this is definitely the biggest event we have uh, for the year. We're going to have probably around 200 participants. Uh, many of those will be uh, veterans, and many of them will be first-timers. So it's open to all ages and uh, all experiences. Okay, and you have two different distances for people, I guess, different levels or maybe haven't participated before can start with the shorter distance? That's right, yeah, we have two distances. One's called the sprint distance, which is just a short swim of 750 meters, and then a 12.4 mile bike ride, and then a 3.1 mile run. Mm -hmm. And then there's the longer distance, known as the Olympic distance. Which okay. doubles everything, basically. I like that it's called the Olympic distance because the short distance didn't sound very short to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, there, I mean, there is sort of a level of um, endurance, obviously, that's involved. And Would you say that people do have to be, um, you know, at a certain level of fitness to participate? Yes, I think so, and especially if you want to be competitive and challenge yourself. But <clears throat> at the same time, I think if you've ever thought about doing a triathlon, you should just give it a go because if, if you can walk, you can walk that last rather than run you can walk at the end there mm -hmm. you know the swim is often the most difficult bit for people um, and it's the first event so you're freshest there um, and all year we've kind of been seeing new people coming out and trying all of our events so hopefully they'll be sticking it out to the end of the year and trying this one as well absolutely and I can imagine there's a really nice sense of accomplishment when you're done and you sort of feel the the, the spirit of everyone involved because there's a big huge group of people over 200 participants you're expecting yeah there, there's great camaraderie really that there will have over 100 volunteers a f few hundred uh, participants and a few hundred uh, spectators as well so the whole atmosphere is just fantastic for the day we've been very blessed Arch and Godfrey has come on board as our main sponsor our other financial sponsors are Governor Square and Red Sail Sports and we're very happy uh, this year that uh, proceeds from the race are going to go to the Kays Foundation which is Children and Youth Services Foundation and next year actually the Francis Bodden uh, girls home is going to be expanding and so we know that some of our some of the proceeds from this event are going to go to help that expansion. We're very happy to help uh, that worthy cause out. Fantastic. And you also have different um, age ranges, uh, people participating in the event as well. So you've got people really young coming out and then really experienced runners and swimmers as well. Um, do you have limits on those ages for people that can participate? Yes, 15 is the youngest if you're doing it as an ind individual. In the team, you can do the Olympic distance as a team event of up to three people, and um, the minimum age for the swimmer is 13 for the team event. Mm -hmm. And as if it's not prize enough to know that you're, you're supporting a great cause, you've also got some really nice prizes that are going to be given out um, to people who participate. Tell us about those. Yeah, and, and as usual, we got to thank all the people that have uh, nominated or donated those prizes. So, yeah, there's like a, an Apple TV, and there's just a lot of a lot of great prizes that have been handed forward. Mm -hmm. So we also have um, a couple of pro triathletes coming down for the event. So uh, it's been a few years since we've had any pros on island. So that'll be a, a nice change as well. Right, and also pro probably encourage a lot of people who have been participating beforehand to challenge themselves even further. Maybe say, maybe I can go for being right behind the pros or something like that. We've got some things um, on set this morning as well. So t-shirts, are those going to be given out to participants as well? Yeah, what we have is uh, we have a, a version of the t-shirt. All participants will receive actually a t-shirt, uh, the insulated water bottle, uh, a race belt. Uh, swim hats are, are for um, the just swim safety. We also have volunteers. If anybody wants to volunteer, they can contact us through CITA, C-I-T-A, at triathlon.ky. And all our volunteers also get a, uh, a T-shirt. All of our volunteers also are welcome to come to a post-race barbecue and also el eligible for prizes. So if you don't want to, you know, if you haven't been able to do the training, you can come help us and we'd be very grateful for that. All right. And for people who are interested in getting more details or maybe need some more questions answered, where can they go for that information? Triathlon.ky is our website. Everything's on there. Okay. Um, if you're really keen, we have uh, our next and last build-up event this coming Sunday. Okay. So even if you want to just come along and watch and see what happens, uh, it's, it's a, great, a great chance to see us. We'll all be there helping out. So, yeah. 
Oh, and right. come and practice. And come and practice. Come and practice. <laughs> Good idea. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here on JVIC this morning, joining us. And for those people who are interested in more information, like we mentioned, you can email CETA at triathlon.ky and also visit the website. Thanks again. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. All right. Coming up after the break, we have a check on the weather and also the latest in sports news. We'll be right back.